we're the Nature Conservancy, we're based right here in the state, and what we do best, um, our sort of values, are to collaborate locally on projects. Um, a couple of years ago, uh, the Nature Conservancy came to us and was looking for sites to do some Aspen studies. And so over the last couple of years, we've been working with them to identify half a dozen sites and then work down to the point where we just have this one as our best first site for our pilot project, let's call it. When they approached you with the idea, you were intrigued enough that you decided collectively it was something you'd want to try. Yeah, we were very intrigued with the idea of how can we um, help establish Aspens in Summit County. 10 to 15 years ago this site was clear-cut and it was to reduce the wildfire danger to the nearby neighborhoods into downtown Breckenridge. So here we are um, 10 to 15 years later and what we see is that prolific regeneration of the lodgepole pine. One of the issues we see is that as we do the buffers around our communities for wildfire purposes, most of what's growing back is the same lodgepole thicket that we had before. And so in a short period of time, 20 years or so, we'll have the same issues with fire concerns as we had prior to the, the cutting. And so we've done some places where we've thinned things in order to um, try to avoid having such a fuels load, but really aspens and having a more diverse forest is a much better plan in the long run. So we're evaluating, could we have a less flammable forest near our community? And could this give wildland firefighters a better chance at protecting our homes and our community? See there? Okay. Yeah. Drop it down into the hole for me? Maybe don't really drop it. Yeah, just yeah, kind of hold it there for a minute. And today we are planting 1,200 aspen seedlings. So you're probably wondering, wait, why are you planting aspen right outside of the forest boundary? And it's an interesting and a little bit of a complex response. We know that one of the greatest threats to our communities here in Summit County is wildfire. And over the past 10 to 15 years, the county and the Forest Service have worked together to create protection zones, creating a buffer between homes and the forest edge. And when we came up here, one of the questions we had was, wow, how are we going to manage these into the future? How will we continue to keep our communities safe? So this right here is an experiment. It's a trial. And what we're trying is to use Aspen as a natural fuel break. Oh, this is a tricky one. Oh, there it is. All right. Boom. She's a pro. Okay. We'll uh, help compact the soil around it. What we're seeing is that Aspens are not establishing in a lot of places. Um, partly possibly due to lack of the right soil moisture conditions, but also um, browsing by deer, elk, and, and moose. And so what we've done here is we've put an exclosure, a big fence, around about a 100 meter by 100 meter area, and then we're planting aspens within that. The idea would be to keep these seed trees protected until they're about two to three meters higher, 12 feet or so. We would call that above browse pressure. That would allow us to remove this exclosure fence and to have a sort of a site that's big enough that can withstand the browse pressure. That's something we'll be investigating is understanding a little bit more about that. I'll be honest, a moose walked right through this site just this morning as we drove up. Yeah, maybe, uh... Maybe some wolves could help uh, patrol the area in a few years and <laughs> then you wouldn't have such browsing pressure. Who knows? I think one thing that's interesting in Summit County is there's more and more moose. Um, so we're seeing sort of, uh, I wouldn't say a change, but we're definitely, well, I, uh, yeah, a change. Where that the grazing is, or the brow browsing is actually coming from moose rather than mule deer and yeah, yeah, we've talked to CPW officials who have told us about several groups of elk here in the county. But, you know, just this morning we saw these moose. They can be a lot harder. Um, it's a lot harder to build a fence to keep a moose out than an elk out. Um, so <laughs> we'll let you know how that goes. <laughs> okay. Where is that little 
Okay, can you tamp it down around it? So we're, we're using it as a, as a big garden. Um, it's, again, a, a pilot test. We're going to be looking at this over the next half a dozen years to see what's growing, what's not. The monitoring will look at soil moisture. We'll also look at tree survivorship. These do not have a high rate of survivalship, so we'll probably be back here next year planting more trees to fill in. This work is supported by Vail Resort's Epic Discovery Program. They're um, supporters of the Nature Conservancy.